here. That's correct. All right. <clears throat> okay, I call the regular meeting of the Millican Board of Trustees for October 27th, 2021 to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Will the town clerk please call roll? Trustee Long. Here. Trustee Meisner. Here. Trustee Rodriguez. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Here. Mayor Austin. Here. And I'd like to note that Trustee Granquist and Trustee Wakeman are absent. But I'm not. Did I not call you? Oh. <laughs> what did I say? You didn't call me. Trustee Meisner, are you I'm here? here? <laughs> Shoot. Great start. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's the time to go home. <laughs> Does anyone have any additions or deletions to the agenda? <laughs> Take a motion. Move to approve the agenda, Spinner. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote, starting with Trustee Meisner, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, actually. <laughs> Trustee Meisner. Here. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great. Oh, dear. Can we start all over? Uh, <laughs> Trustee Long. Yes. <laughs> Trustee Rodriguez. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Yes. Mayor Austin. Yes. Did I miss anyone? <laughs> no. Good. Okay, motion carries. Do we have any citizens comments this evening? Hearing none, we'll skip over that part of the agenda and go to the meeting minutes. Are there any discussion or comments on the meeting minutes of October 13th, 2021? Hearing none, I'll take a motion. I move to approve October 13th, 2021 minutes. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Long. Yes. Trustee Meisner. Yes. Trustee Rodriguez. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Yes. Mayor Austin. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions or comments on the paid list of bills? I don't because I signed most of those checks. All right. We have acknowledgement of the paid list of bills. Now we'll go to the town administrator's report. Town Administrator Powell. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, as we were discussing during the work session, I'll just go into maybe a little bit more detail. Um, on Tuesday, October 19th, uh, the Mayor, along with Trustees Wakeman and Meisner and Town Clerk Reinberger and I, attended the broadband study presentation and discussion at the YMCA in Johnstown. Um, I've also sent the PowerPoint presentation out to um, all the board members. Um, by consensus of those who attended, um, John Honker, who is with Magellan Enterprises and the, our owner's rep, Tim Scott, will have discussions with the three key broadband providers and provide that information back to the group. And I'll, give you, I'll keep you apprised of, of what is told to us. Um, next Thursday, Brian Campbell and I will be meeting with Chris LeMay with DOLA to discuss a few grant opportunities. Um, we are looking for funding assistance for engineering and construction for the Cherry Street storm drainage project and also for the engineering and construction of the Weld County Road 23 and 3 quarter project. Um, Monday, November 1st, Leonard um, Weiss, uh, Scott Holwick and I will be meet and Don Stonebrink will be meeting with the Hillsborough Ditch Board and a representative from the USDA's Natural Resources um, Conservation Service to discuss grant opportunities for the revitalization of the Hillsboro. Um, so we'll find out more information on, on that project as well. Um, from my understanding, if um, a, a grant is applied for, the extension irrigation company has to apply for the grant since it's part of their portion of the Hillsboro ditch. Um, so that takes it out of the town's hands, which is fine, um, and pr will probably provide more assistance um, dollar-wise towards this project if it is indeed granted by um, the USDA. So I will also keep you apprised of that, anything I learn. So moving forward, but it's all these slow steps and, and trying to find the money. 
So that's all I have. Okay. Any questions from the board? Mm. Okay. There is nothing on the consent agenda, so our first item on the action agenda is the settlement regarding 11270 Highway 60, Matthew Gould, town attorney. Thank you, Mayor Austin. Uh, this was on the agenda for a discussion in executive session back in August, and um, acting on directions received at that time, uh, we negotiated uh, what we're calling a settlement agreement. The reason it's called a settlement agreement is that there was a claim basically that was presented by the landowners, and this was based on the fact that there's no easement for the sidewalk that was installed on, on this property. So um, what you have before you is a settlement that would release any claims related to the presence of the sidewalk. It would also grant any, a sidewalk easement that, ascends, that, that extends essentially from the south edge of the sidewalk to the, the road right of way. To the, to the, okay. So it is an easement. It's not an outright purchase of the property. Uh, the compensation that staff has discussed is $5,000 and that's before you for approval. And uh, there's some information in the packet that was circulated. Happy to answer any questions. Okay, questions from the board, starting with Trustee Meisner. I have no questions. Trustee Rodriguez. I just wanna make sure I understand um, when I read over the documentation that if the house is to sell, that we won't go through this again. Correct? That That is correct. We will record this easement agreement and it will become an encumbrance on the property. Okay, thank you. Trustee Long? Nothing for me. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? I have no questions. And I don't have any questions. So at this point, if there's no further discussion, I'll take a motion on the item. I'm on. <laughs> Go ahead. I move to approve the proposed settlement agreement between the town of Milliken and Joseph and Allison Grice involving acquisition by the town of a sidewalk easement. Second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Rodriguez? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the action agenda is a memor memorandum of understanding regarding the opioid settlement participation. Uh, Matthew Gould, town attorney. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is something that came in in early October, uh, and um, I, I honestly didn't dig into it until about last week or maybe the week before. Um, I, I hope it's pretty fully explained in the board memo, but let me see if I can summarize it. Uh, at a national level, there have been numerous cases filed against pharmaceutical companies, including the ones that are named in this uh, MOU, based on the pharmaceutical company's participation in creating what's been referred to as the opioid crisis. And it's essentially, as I understand it, uh, abuse of opioid-based uh, drugs. Uh, there are settlements that are starting to come down and, uh, and there has been an effort to allocate the settlement proceeds across the country. Colorado is expecting from the, as I understand it, from at least the identified settlements here to, over the course of several years to get approximately $300 million. The memor memorandum of understanding is intended to allocate that money statewide. And that includes a, a partial allocation to local communities. Um, a town that elects to participate doesn't necessarily have to take the money. They can also allow it to be, uh, we'll use the term waived, and in that case it will go to a regional council that will administer, administer the funds. Um, the region happens to correspond with Weld County, but the administering body will be a separate body from Weld County. All of that is set forth in the memor memorandum of understanding. I wanted, uh, because the, it looked like the agenda seemed a little light, I thought we might as well go ahead and put this on the action agenda in case the board wants to act. But I realize it's kind of a lot to throw at you. And uh, if we want to discuss it and defer action, we certainly can. Uh, the uh, Attorney General's office was asking for a response by November 5th, but I confirmed that that is definitely not a hard deadline. 
Uh, there is a hard deadline in January, uh, but we do have some time to consider this further if no action is taken tonight. Uh, and I will do my very best to answer questions. I spent enough time essentially to draft that memo. Um, and uh, I certainly could study this more, but I kind of cut off the clock uh, at a certain point and thought, let's talk about it and see where the board wants to go. All right, questions from the board, starting with Trustee Long. Not yet. Uh, Trustee Rodriguez. I have no questions at this time. Trustee Meisner. Well, I read through the uh, all the different things that were in the packet, and I guess the biggest question I would have are what are the um, what would be the adverse effect if we vote not to do this? As I understand it, uh, there are some incentive. Um, uh, additional incentive amounts, and I believe that's a, those are amounts of money. And the, if we if the state gets a high participation level, then it then it earns the incentives uh, from the settlement payments. I don't know what those amounts are, uh, but that's my understanding of the primary downside of not participating. That was kind of what I uh, gathered from what I was reading, so I couldn't myself see any reason why we would not participate and and i should highlight this this fact just because we well i'm gonna i'm actually gonna add two pieces of information i mentioned this already just because we participate doesn't mean we have to take the money if we do take the money then we're responsible that and when i say we i mean the town of millican then the town would be responsible to report on its use of the money and there's a reporting there's some terms in here governing that, that reporting. If the town participates but w it waves the money over to the region, then the town doesn't have to be responsible for that reporting obligation. The other thing that I was going to mention is that I did a calculation, uh, and this is just the default amount based on the $300 million. Um, so the first, the first uh, uh, calculation is that 20% of that is allocated to local governments. That results in $60 million that would go to Weld County. Um, no, I'm sorry, that's, to the, that's $60 million to the state, to local governments. Then 3.89% would go to Weld County, which is $2,334,000. And, and then of that, Millican would be allocated 1.5%, which is about $36,000. And this is over the course of several years. So I think there will be a later decision whether to take the money and apply it to programs in town or whether that money is better used regionally. That's all I had to add. That makes sense. Okay, questions, Mayor Pro Tem. Oh. I, would, I have no question. I just make a comment and maybe personally approve it and then make that decision whether we accept money at a later date. At least we're opted in. Doesn't mean that we have to follow through with it. If it's going to end up costing us more money in administrative time to fill out reports and do all that, then we can value that and, and look at that at a later date. Great. That's my understanding. Yeah. Okay. I do not have any further questions, so I'll take a motion on the matter. I move to approve the town of Millican's participation in the Colorado Opioid Settlement Memorandum of Understanding and to authorize the mayor to execute on the town's behalf that document as well as the following related documents. The Johnson & Johnson Settlement Participation Form, the Distributor Subdivision Settlement Participation Form, and the Colorado Subdivision Escrow Agreement. Second. Please call for a vote. Trustee Long? Yes. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Trustee Rodriguez? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next item is on the discussion agenda is the 2021 Well County Hazard Mitigation Plan as presented by Carrie Reinbarger, Town Clerk, and Pepper McClanahan. 
Community Development Director who is with us on Zoom. Who is leading off the discussion? Uh, I will, thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mayor and Trustees, this is an update to the 2015 hazard mitigation plan that we also participated in with Weld County. Um, they are required by FEMA to update that every five years. Myself, along with Administrator Powell, um, Community Development Director Pepper McClanahan and Chief Garcia participated in several meetings with Weld County to develop it. The <laughs> plan is about 700 pages long, so I printed for you guys just Millican's portion. We identified kind of the top hazards for our area. Um, the other thing that's nice is they can also assist us with some grant opportunities. Um, so we would like to bring it before you at the next meeting for adoption via resolution, if you guys would like. So our population in 2019 was 8,164. I'm not sure where she got the numbers, but approximately. Say. It's a lot of information just on Milliken, so I understand. God bless you. She's so sorry. We're the first jurisdiction downstream from six dams. That's reassuring. <laughs> That's why flooding is one of our high hazards. Uh, Town Administrator, do you have any comments on this report? Any concerns? No, Mayor, I do not. Okay. Do we need a mitigation planning committee? Um, I can certainly reach out to Weld County and ask them if that would be a requirement. We haven't had one in the previous update either. Um, so I don't think it's a requirement. It says warning systems slash services, and that's flood only. That doesn't include our tornado warning device. No, we had um, sirens in there. Yeah. On page 120, the tornado sirens are also listed. So I'm not reading properly, in other words. Oh, I see. Multi-hazard is what it's listed under. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Got it. And we, when we met with her, 
she talked to us about several different types of permit uh, grants, excuse me, that they would be willing, Wealth County would be help, willing to help us look for funding for as well, like additional tornado sirens or if we wanted to put in tornado shelters at any of the parks. Um, so it is used for other reasons other than just mitigation purposes. Okay. Pepper, did you want to add anything? Thank you. Any questions from the board? Any discussion? Go ahead. <laughs> okay, we can circle back on this then. Uh, if we have any questions. <clears throat> okay, and am I good to bring it back at the next meeting for approval? I think so. It would give us a little time to study it and see if we have any further questions. But Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Is there any uh, further? I'll take a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're out. Thank you.